drone flutes or double flutes. We're going to take a quick look at the basics of the drone or double, in some cases, triple flutes. The one I'm going to start with is what they call a side-by-side, -side, two barrels uh, in one piece of wood. And um, two mouthpieces. So you can choose if you want to add the drone or just play it as a single flute. This is the only design that I know. I do know and have seen where instead of having two separate breath holes, there's only one. So that both barrels would be playing any time you play the flute. I personally like the choice of being able to choose if I want to play the drone or if I would rather just be hearing the melody flute by itself. And being able to switch back and forth easily like that is something that I think adds a lot more interest to a, to playing a drone or a double flute. The other design that I am most familiar with, instead of a side-by-side -side like this, is a A-frame design. And this still has the double mouthpiece or dual breath hole. It has melody side still and a drone side still. Plays exactly the same way, but you don't have to reach over the drone bore to get to that other set of holes. So for some people, this is just like playing a single flute. And it could be easier to reach those finger holes for some people. For others, they might find this to be, I'm gonna call it annoying because it's, it's resting on your hand, and if I switch hands like this, if I play with my left hand down, for example, it's still resting on that hand. I usually play with my right hand down. And so this one, for some people, I think they might feel a little cramped. doesn't bother me in the slightest, um, and it never has. This is, I think, the design that, honestly, I'm not sure which one came first, thinking back on it. Actually, I think this design came first to me. And then, this was the second one that I got. I also have triple flutes 
which is the same idea as this, but it has an extra melody side on the opposite side of this one with the drone in the middle. So you can think of a triple flute as two double flutes. Same way as this triple. This is the same as having two double flutes. These two barrels combined give you exactly the same type of option as the regular side-by-side -side double flute. It gives you a drone with one note that can sometimes be uh, forced to play the higher octave of that low note. As you, especially when you go, go up into the higher notes on the melody side and give uh, a little bit of tonguing and a little extra force of air, it will jump to that higher octave. In the case of this triple, this has that you would be combining the melody side with a side that has three different choices if you will, of what drone note you want to play. It also gives you the choice of playing the upper holes with one hand and playing these holes with your other hand. An example of that would be like this. So that is the only way that I have learned to play kind of a harmony style drone, either on this design, triple flute, or with the over under design that is best known from wood sounds flutes. This is actually two complete six-hole flutes mounted one over the other. The mouthpiece still has two holes. The mouthpiece on the right side of the flute, when you're looking at it, controls the upper flute. The mouthpiece on the left side controls the lower flute. And these normally come with a whole bunch of leather straps. The way you can play it like a normal drone, covering all of the holes, all of the finger holes on the lower flute, with the leather straps. What 
I like to do on this one is the same that I showed you on that triple flute, is uncovering Three, the lower three finger holes on the bottom and Jan Michael Looking Wolf is the master at playing this style of double flute in this configuration. So that is one way that you can play these. Or you can play the top flute and open any of any whole combination, any whole choice that you want on the bottom. If I wanted to play this double flute in mode four, I would cover the lower four holes. So I can now play this in mode four and have a drone that will support that. Um, that is doable on this just by covering this hole. Same thing on the triple flute where if it has plugs like this does on the on the drone barrel in the middle, you can choose any combination that you want for a drone on that. How do I go about playing a drone style flute? For me, it's, it's mostly about feel. And I'm gonna go back to the most common, I think, this back up, which is the regular side-by-side. -side. And I like to be able to do kind of a call and response, I guess would be the best way to look at that, where I use the melody side by itself and then I add in the drone um, to give almost like there's two different players playing. So you can, you can just kind of pretend that you're adding in a, another player playing along with you. And that's the way that I like to use the double flutes or a drone. Um, playing drone flutes is, to me, just a joy. And... Um, 
I have said in the past, it makes me seem to be twice as good as I really am. It does take a little bit of practice to be able to add in the drone when you want to and play the melody side separately so you don't get squeaks so that um, so so that it sounds like you're actually adding a flute player. be able to go back and forth it does take a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit of time and effort, but I think honestly it's well worth the effort that you can put into there. They do sound, I, I think they sound heavenly. They're just, it adds a whole nother dimension to the already gorgeous tones that these Native American style flutes can produce. The drone just adds an extra dimension, an extra element of just a magical essence to the sound. Yes, you can sound twice as good as you really are, um, and it's a lot of fun. It's, it's fun to practice with. As I said, this is the design that most people are used to. Plays the same way. I like this design for quite a few reasons because it is it's more compact. Trying to transport this you would need to be a little bit extra careful. It's almost three times as wide as, as this one. Um, so these are a little easier to take with you places. They are easier to quite often store. Uh, they will fit on most wall type racks. Um, they would fit on this type of rack that I have with the pegs. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell down there next to the subscription button so that you can be notified anytime I post a new video, whether it be taking just a quick look at a style of flute like we did here today with just an overview of drones and the way that I like to play them. It could be a more in-depth look at a specific flute could be a drone. I haven't done too many uh, reviews on these and I need to start doing that. It could be a music video on how I put these flutes together either in a solo uh, tune that I create. It could be with other instruments, guitar, the rav drum, uh, other hand drums and, and things like that, other instruments. And it could be a tutorial on a, a much more in-depth way on how to play these wonderful instruments. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.